All right, Christy's here from the uh, Emma County Animal Shelter. I'll say that first. But then I want to tell you about Josie, who's trying to get up over here and drink out of my water cup, I think. But anyway, she is the most gorgeous cat. Christy, her picture does not do her justice. It doesn't. Yeah, she should probably be on a solid background because it doesn't really show off all of her colors. Well, there she is. Now she's up. She's checking. Becky was in here talking to her. So Becky's in the newsroom right now. So she's going over there to say hi to Becky. And then she's just wandering around and, and checking everything out. She's extremely curious. Can you hear her purring from there, Mary? Yeah. <laughs> I can. She's got one of those loud purrs on her. I don't know if Trevor can pick it up on the camera or not. Can we hear it? No, we're just we're just hearing the camera movement at that at that point. She's oh, there's a treat. Yep, okay, she's tripped the treat bag over. And now she can chew on that. <laughs> she has an attitude. She does. She's in fact, I brought her because she um, she's so much fun. She is yeah. a fun cat, and she she's bossy and she's <laughs> vocal, but she loves to play. She's constantly playing at the shelter yeah. with toys with. Uh, something she finds on the floor with, you yes. know, what the other cats, it doesn't matter, but she's yeah. always playing. <laughs> and like I said, she, she is a gorgeous cat. What is, what is this? It, it's domestic short hair and Torby? I've never heard that. Yeah, they're called Torbies or Tabacos, which it means they're Calico and Tabby mixed uh -huh. together. That's why she has like the spots and the striations all at the same time. Well, it's the color. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And she's a big girl, isn't she, Mary? She is. She, yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> she, she was going to walk across the board, so I was trying to step, you want to talk on the air? There's a whole lot you of can kitty hear there. Her, you can hear her purr mm -hmm. right there. I don't know if it was picked up on the mic or not, but she sure could. So, yeah, that's that's where she's got, you know, the, the to me, the, the black stripes on, on gray, but then mm -hmm. there's a gold color yep. there all yeah. over. Yeah, it makes her gorgeous. And you have a lot of cats right now. Uh, we have a lot of kitties right now. Yeah. We have a lot of adoptions happening on our adult cats. Yes. Um, and applications and inquiries, so that's awesome. But yeah, we have a lot of kitties in, um, and we a lot of bottle babies. And yeah, so soon, um, very soon, we should have kitties ready for permanent forever homes. Okay. And you said too that um, dogs. Your dogs are getting um, out yeah, and left and Yeah, right. that's why Mater's getting featured again because I think every other dog that we have right now, I have approved applications and I'm just waiting to set meet and greet. So that's kind of crazy. And I do have yeah. only one of the little guy coming in um, as soon as I have an opening. So that's good. It is. It, it is. Happen. Now if we can just get the kitties from stop making more kitties, we can be fine. Yeah. And and that's something that we're always facing. That's you know, it's yeah, it's yeah. a it's an educational, you know, learning curve thing. Not only for people with their owned pets, but community cats. Um, mm -hmm. If you're listening out there in the community, support T and R programs. Those are trap, neuter, and return programs. Okay. I don't know if we ever talked about about that on air, Mary. I don't um, think so. Yeah, that's where a group like ourselves or the Northwest Iowa Humane Society or People for Pets. They would go in um, and target an area that has a lot of community cats, and every community cat group has w one or two people that are watching out over them usually. Mm -hmm. And we communicate with that person or that group of people, and we schedule things, and then we bring in a team. Um, we trap them all uh, that we can, and then everyone gets spayed, neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, ear notched, and then um, uh -huh. yep, and then released. Oops. <laughs> um, so it's. It's a really neat program. Yes. It has absolute um, statistical information backing how effective it is, mm -hmm. and it's something that I wish every community would adopt. There, you have some um, communities in the Lakes region that have adopted that process, and it's hugely important, not only for happy communities, but for happy kitties, because yes. they don't really want to be overpopulated either, but you yeah. know, it's their natural progression of things to oh, yeah. make more of themselves. Yeah. It's it's how they survive. I mean, that's all all part of part of the nature of things. So, all right. So you can get involved with that, and I, I imagine donations for that would be greatly. Are yeah. are you taking some of your cats to uh, Des Moines and, and Ames and? Uh, we are not. No, okay. we've been. Um, we work with the college. Okay. A lot, and then we work with um, the, our mobile clinic that comes up and does our spay and neuters for us during our TNR clinics, and those are just all ferals that we bring in. We actually do it right there at the shelter. Okay. When we do it. 
and um, so here's my mind because I'm trying to think of it. But one of the the schools that's that's doing this is um, marking the cats. They're they're tattooing them. They're yeah. just a yeah. So then when that tattoo cat, ink, yeah. yes, tattoo ink. So then they know. See, she wants on the air. She, she just walks right up to the microphone and just says, "I can hear her purring now." I know. <laughs> She's got that She's great got level. Good motorboat. Yeah, she does. All right. What are the hours over at uh, Emma County? Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 4 to 6.30 and Friday mornings 9 to noon, but if you want to just stop in and pet some kitties, you're welcome to. Okay. And any uh, fundraisers coming up that we um, None that I'm aware of. Okay. But if anybody has any ideas, I'm open. Okay. And if anybody just wants to donate without there being a fundraiser, that's fine too. And we're, our can redemption, I don't know, you know if everybody knows that, but no. that's where we make most of our money. Okay, so we're going to yep. drop them off right at, at the, the shelter? shelter. There's a trailer sitting out front. Okay, all right. Yep. That sounds good. Let's drop them off after you finish. With and your one in Lake beverage? Park now. We just put one in Lake Park. They actually asked us to. So okay. there's one at the elevator at Lake Park. All right. So, so once you finish with your beverage, rinse the can out and then yeah. <laughs> and, then <it's> <laughs> and then forward it onto a, a good use. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Anything else you'd like to talk about while we get you? Um, I'll just mention Mater. We've had Mater for a long time, and he is just a doll. He's our, our little uh, Cheagle. It's a Beagle Chihuahua. Oh, yes. Um, he's, he's just such a sweetheart, and I think the reason that he hasn't been adopted, for one thing, he kind of acts like a screwball when he comes to the shelter during his meet and greets, um, but he's really a mellow guy, but he's a lot of fun, real yeah. playful. He'd be awesome for a family with kids. Uh -huh. I mean, he is the dog that would match kids, but he has to have a fenced yard. He just has well, to have a fenced yard. Well, yeah, there's a lot of energy with a beagle especially. Um, yeah, so, and that beagle nose can take him, you know. Oh, yeah. Off, off and away, but he's a great little guy. If anybody out there has kids and you want a dog that can, you know, play and just be fun, but then just crash and take a nap, yeah, that's Mater. Well, I don't, I don't know how to tell <laughs> tell Josie that that mic isn't on, so she she can't get into it, but she keeps trying. So, all right, thank you very much. We will right. see you in three weeks. Thanks, Mary. All right.